3D Christmas Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. So on the thumb and index, and actually also your middle and pinky, but I'm just showing the thumb and index at the moment, we're going to be using a glitter mix that's clear acrylic with some white flakes and hexagon glitter, and I'm going to be creating the nail bed, and so that's what this is. So make your nail bed and your smile line, and then fill in the tip with bright red acrylic. And then I'm going to create just a thin overlay over the top of that to make it nice and smooth and give it a little bit more strength. And now I'm going to be filing it. Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Filing it until it is nice and smooth and perfect. So now on my index nail, I'm going to, after I've got just that color down with the acrylic, I'm going to apply gel top coat and cure it. I'm going to remove the tacky layer and then I'm going to start sculpting my Santa's belt. So I'm going to take a fairly thin bead of black acrylic or wet bead, I guess. And I'm going to uh, line that out along the smile line and then flatten it into our belt shape. All right, if your belt's a little bit lumpy, you can just file it just a little bit to smooth it out. So then with silver, I'm going to be sculpting the belt buckle off. I don't want it right in the center. I want it off center just a little bit. So you're almost creating a, um, like a square missing one side. So you want a flat line going across the belt and then two lines just going down along with the belt in the same shape, just a little ways, basically. And then you're also going to want to thicken up the, um, the belt on the one side for where it overlaps just like that and then you're gonna also need to add the little the I don't know the prong that goes through the belt and the belt hole up from the belt all the way on top of that and then add a loop going around where the two layers of the belt are overlapping easy for me to say anyways then I'm going to be highlighting the belt with charcoal paint uh, this is just gonna make it look a little bit darker and blacker where we want it to and it's still gonna look black other places but it's just gonna it's gonna sharpen it up a little bit and then you can uh, low light it in certain places with black and I'm also going to add little dots along it for the belt holes and now I'm going to be highlighting with white paint and highlighting those holes as well and then apply matte top coat over just the belt on your middle and pinky like we did on the thumb and index we're going to be creating that nail bed with that glittery mix and then instead of red, we're going to use green this time and fill in the rest of the tip. And then create a clear overlay. And you're also going to want to file that, but I decided you don't really need to see that twice. So I'm now going to, on the middle nail, start by outlining the smile line with gold and then painting a gold snowflake. And I'm just going to be painting one snowflake on this nail tip, but if you wanted to cover it in snowflakes, go for it. It would look very pretty. I just thought one would keep it looking simple. And so now I'm going to basically go over everything we just painted with gold with white. The gold is still going to show through because these white lines are going to be slightly thinner, and it's going to give it sort of a shimmery shadow background. And I'm going to add some white polka dots all around the rest of that green tip and add a layer of top coat. On the ring nail, I'm going to start by sculpting my tree. So I'm going to begin with a green triangle with the short side on basically going to the tip and then the two longer sides going up and ending just below the cuticle of this nail. So then fill in the rest of the space with red acrylic. And if it goes over the green just a little bit, don't sweat it. You can file it off, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm just gently filing it a little bit so it exposes all those green edges. And then once again, we're going to be adding a layer of clear over the top of this nail. And then you're also going to want to file that until it's smooth. Once that's done, we're going to be outlining our tree with gold paint.
And now I'm going to be painting a star at the top of my tree. I want the star to really show up, so I'm going to now outline it with black. I'm going to be applying gold caviar beads in a zigzag going back and forth across my tree using some nail glue. This is a very tedious process, so I really sped it up because otherwise you would be watching me apply caviar beads for 10 minutes and that wouldn't be very fun. But apply them and if you've got patience, good for you. This isn't actually as bad as it may seem, but you can't try and rush the process or your beads aren't going to stick. So slow and steady. And then apply a layer of top coat and I really suggest using gel if you're going to be using these caviar beads so that they last and they stick a very long time and they don't just rub off. On your pinky nail, I'm going to be outlining the smile line oops, <laughs> um, with some red paint and just ignore the fact that I drop things. And then I'm going to be adding a ribbon going across and basically creating a large T on the nail tip. So painting a vertical line and a horizontal line. And then add a layer of top coat. On a nail form backing or a sticker backing, I'm going to be making my bow that goes on that pinky nail. So I'm going to create a long green strip of acrylic. And then I'm going to let that be and let it set for about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to be folding the sides in. Um, I'll put a link in the description box for a more detailed description of how I make my bows so that if this is not quite good enough and you need to know some more, you can check that out. And I'm going to add a red gem in the center of my bow and apply that to the nail with some clear acrylic. On my thumb, I'm going to start by outlining the smile line with some bright green paint. And if this outline's not perfect, it's okay because now we're going to be feathering out the line to create a pine needle branch or a branch of pine needles. Either way, I guess. So just feather that out on both sides of the line so it looks almost kind of furry. And now I'm going to be low lighting that with a darker shade of green, so just creating little lines all along it in the same way that we created the little lines with the lighter green, just with darker, to give it some variation so it doesn't look so flat. And now I'm going to be outlining it with black paint, and when I outline, I'm just going to do really quick little movements along the outside edge. And then I'm going to be adding the hook of our ornament with some gold paint, and then outlining the hook. And of course, add yet another layer of top coat. To sculpt the ornament, I'm going to use some silver acrylic, and I'm going to first start with an oval. And then I'm going to add a little point at the bottom of my oval. And you want your ornament to be rounded, so you might have to do it in a couple layers to get that nice smooth rounded shape because you don't want to file it. And then we're going to be adding a design on our ornament. I'm using red paint. I'm going to make two stripes and then make little crosses going across it. The reason you don't want to file the silver acrylic is because you'll file off the metallic quality and it'll just be gray. Add a white highlight and a layer of matte top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!